us here again on Heart Ministry Radio Network. I am your host, Brenda Divers, and this is the Extraordinary People Broadcast. I know you know this lady. She's been with <laughs> us many times, Elizabeth Burner. Oh, and wow. she's coming today um, because our topic is hearing from God. And when we got that, I, I thought of you first, right? Because of how you live your life, how God speaks to you, how you're intentional about your relationship with him and hearing from him, mm. right? So I had to get you back. Thank you. Elizabeth, you know, Elizabeth Burner is the host of Perfect Misfits on Heart Ministry Radio. And recently you did a segment on seasons. Yes. And that to me was the, the confirmation that I really needed to have you to mm. talk about um, hearing from God because there, those seasons that we go through we really need to hear from God yes. to make sure that we are doing the right thing that we're in the right place and that once those seasons change that we don't get depressed about them you know all those things. all the <laughs> you know the all sidebar the, conversations we yes, have with ourselves yes know? yes yes so thank you Elizabeth for oh, um, consenting to come you. back I tell you I love this I just love what God has given us to do because of the people that we meet yes. and the hearts that we feel and just how you deposit. Whenever you're with me, you deposit things into my spirit. So I'm, I'm glad to see you coming. You're receiving. <laughs> yes, because yeah. I know something's going to happen and I praise God for you. So again, our topic today is hearing from God. And we're going to start a series and the series will start with hearing from God with Elizabeth. And then we're going to have subsequent um, segments on prayer and what that means and again how to hear from God because it's important in this day and time that we are hearing from God we know we have his word and we are going to rightly dividing his word yes and how we are to to tell <laughs> you know to give the message you know who should we talk to and why should we you know those things yes. we want to be make sure we're in his will and in his perfect will so we need to hear from God and make sure we're hearing you know because yes. many times I hear I say, is that you because there are many voices. Absolutely. There are many voices. So we want to make sure we're hearing the voice of God. Because, again, that stranger we will not follow. Yes. Right? If we really know God's voice. So, um, Elizabeth, just say again, <laughs> good afternoon <laughs> to our listening audience. Yes. Again, again, she's no stranger to Hello. the Heart Ministry yes. Radio Network family. And just that you know, we appreciate you and love oh, you. Love gosh, yourself. I love you, too. Amen. Amen. So our first question is... How do you hear from God? What, what is that for you? How do you hear from God? I will say I, I, it's changed over the years. And that's a good point. I'd like to start with when I was younger. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, and as a child, not knowing that that was God, my, in my mm -hmm. spirit, I believe that I heard from um, his messengers, you know, and I, I know that I had an angel in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. I know that I felt safe. Um, I was abused as a child, so it mm -hmm. fragments your mm -hmm. mind, and mm -hmm. then it fragments your spirit. And yeah. so yeah. where's the safest place to go? So my bedroom was that safe haven, mm -hmm. and or diving into reading books, and usually fiction books and mm -hmm. stuff. And we know even in reading other people's words how we really have to watch what we're reading yes. also what music we're listening absolutely. to those absolutely those are things that can get inside of our head which mm. get inside of our spirit yes. and so you really so can true. be divided into different forks in the road mm. in your life mm. Mm. and even if you've gone down not the right road yeah. you know and i'll just say the wrong road um and ask for forgiveness and come back and just know that God's still there on the road with you yeah, yeah. and just we have to invite him in yeah it happens all at the same time even though he is there mm -hmm. he is in us we have to invite we him. still have to invite him in yeah. because it becomes yeah. a relationship mm -hmm. you know yeah, yeah. With, e with each other so that was when I was younger so then in moving forward when I was a young before I was a teenager um I would see things it was like a um a reel to reel. It was like this film. I would see things playing we, out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you mm -hmm. and I could just sit and talk, and all of a sudden I would start to see things for you and just know that I needed to share it with you. Mm -hmm. um, so I would ask permission if it's okay yeah. to say. Yeah. But even some of the things that I would see, it would it, it was frightening yes. a little bit. Yeah, and <laughs> yes. so I'd ask yes. it to go away. 
So there was a period of time where it just stopped and I was okay with that. I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't understand it. Um, My grandmother had the same gift and there was an event that happened on Good Friday when I was about eight years old. Mm -hmm. So that was, so going backwards again a little bit, um, it was Good Friday. My father's father had passed away on Good Friday and he was in the city, he was in New York City and my mom and my brother and I were in Forest Hills and I woke up from a nap and my mom had called me down and she said I have something to tell you and I said to her grandpa died yeah. and she thought I was listening on the phone mm-hmm. she thought I had overheard something wow. and I didn't and my grandmother said oh you have that gift and I didn't know what I wasn't was. sad yeah. from mm-hmm. my grandfather dying mm-hmm. I didn't understand what it was I was even saying mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was the beginning of that door opening okay so she would pray with me and and then I was just had to go away for a while so while I was a teenager yeah so then when I got older it here it started back up again and then I started asking God okay can you tell me what What this this is is. can you help me with this is this of you if it's not of you I knew enough because I had a mentor at the Mm -hmm. time I knew enough to say to go away it needed to go away amen so now coming forward and being a little bit more mature in my spiritual Mm -hmm. walk, there's a few different ways that I hear from him. Those loud voices that come upon us as if we think um, we are supposed to follow it, that's the that is the time to say is if this is of you god then you can stay here if it's not you have to go speak to that spirit that's talking to us because god whispers to us however there are times yeah. where he does need to raise his voice yes. a little bit to <laughs> the theophonic yes mm-hmm. to be able to yeah. get our attention um we tend to hear the voice of the thing we want the most mm. i think that's real important yes i love that time to move well I heard it was time mm-hmm. to move. We need to move. move because I went to my friend's <laughs> house. They have a nicer house. Yeah. They have a nicer. Mm-hmm. No, that's your eyes seeing what you think your heart wants, mm-hmm. but it's not what God wants for us. Yeah. And He has us planted where we are for a reason. And even if you're in a situation where you are, it is not the best situation, and you're seeing the things that are not the best thing for you or for your life or even for your children. Mm-hmm. It's really important to stop in the midst of that storm and to look around and to see if there is a white cloud, Mm -hmm. to look around and really say, okay, Lord, I know you have me here for a reason. Thank you so much for this. Show me what it is I need to learn so I can learn it and I won't have to go back to this again. Uh, Retesting. Yes. I hate to retest. That uh, hamster wheel (laughs) is what I... So if you keep thinking, I keep dating the same man, I keep dating the same woman, it's the same as my ex, whoever, Mm -hmm. and well, that that's a lesson you haven't learned, and the the way to be able to change, which is why God continues to whisper to us, is because He wants us to grow, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is, and that's one of the many reasons. So one of the main reasons He wants us to grow is, He, you need to recognize what it is about yourself you're not getting. Speak to yourself as if you're your own best friend. Yeah. What would you tell your best friend mm-hmm. about that situation? Yes. And yes. ask God to help you with it. It is about that partnership. Yeah. So to answer, long ways, <laughs> to answer that question, <laughs> he'll either whisper to me mm-hmm. it and, and won't let go. He'll whisper it. Yes. And that was in the beginning. Mm-hmm. You whisper it to me, and then it'll come up again, and then I knew to act on it. So mm-hmm. now what happens is if I hear it in that certain way yeah. I know, you know to just make a phone call send an email reach out to that specific person yeah. move or act on that whatever that is um, or I still get the real to real sometimes in a dream it's more when I'm awake now before okay. it was dream. truly mm-hmm. in dreams mm-hmm. or that really quiet time yeah and I think this is good because again um, I've had many conversations even over the last couple of months of, how do I know this is God? And then we get into the thing um, where God will speak to you. He will show you specifically, or you will hear his voice in that theophonic tone. And then the other person, well, he doesn't speak to me like that. You know, he doesn't love me like that. Um, you know, because he speaks to us all differently. differently. Of course, we all have his word. Absolutely. And 
we can go to his word. If we're not in his word, then may, maybe the things that you're hearing is not. Yes. You know, because he's not going to contradict his word. Right. So we always have his word to go back to, right? Yes. As our source of our, of our confirmation. But God is so personal <laughs> that he may yes. not speak. You may not hear the same kind of voice. Right. You know, but he does speak to all of us. Yes, he does. <laughs> right? And we have to know Absolutely. how he speaks to and us. And it is very specific. Yeah. Um, somebody had asked me, well, what does it sound like? What is that? Well, it sounds like my own voice mm -hmm. because that's, I can hear my own voice. Right. <laughs> it is not this, you know, great big booming voice. It's not a deeper whisper. It's mm -hmm. not a, and sometimes it's, it's as if it's, if you can imagine almost like a ticker tape mm -hmm. of just words that y you see and hear that audible, um, undertone. Audible is, it's good too. Yeah. 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 Because that's how he knows that you'll pay attention. I get my attention. <laughs> yes. And, but some people see it in or pay attention to those signals. If you see a cardinal and somebody mm -hmm. in the past, like those specific things, but that's not a blanket statement yeah. for everybody. Yes. What I hear and mm -hmm. feel and it's different. It's different from for yourself. And I know we've had conversations where, and I so appreciate mm -hmm. we're able to have that yes. conversation yes. where I feel safe enough mm -hmm. that I'm able to, to say share. to yes. you, yes. is it okay if I share something with you? Mm -hmm. And what, you nine times out of ten, I'll say, <laughs> I don't know, Why? this is going to sound a little crazy, but, you know, and then I'll go ahead and share it. Because yeah. that's the thing. If it doesn't make any sense to me, which that's what happens, mm -hmm. if it doesn't make any sense to me, I know that that's God. If it is, I have learned in my life mm -hmm. that if something is upside down in thought of making sense, it's okay, God, I'm really listening now. Because <laughs> I can't make any sense of it. I can't make it. any sense of it, yes. but it makes perfect sense in God's world, in, in where he wants yeah. to move me next. Yeah. yeah, and I love that. And again, this is why we're doing this segment, because in this, this these are the end times, we know that. Yes. And God says perilous times will come. And people will be lovers of themselves. You know, he talks all about that and l listening and, and, you know, to the doctrines of demons and those kinds of things. And a lot of times we get into um, other types of literature yes. other than the word um, to see what other people are saying, and you know, and all of that. But we have to be directed by God. It's all disguised. Yeah. And it's yeah. disguised in a beautiful way mm -hmm. because... Um, the opposition knows what's going to appeal to us mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. And if we don't stop ourselves, if we get sucked in because our our eyesight, <clears throat> excuse me, works very well. Yeah. Yeah. If our eyesight works very well and our ears are hearing, you really have to stop and think what it is that you're listening to. And you might that. think that it's mm -hmm. not, that it's well, it's just music. Think of I who that fallen that. angel was. Mm. He was the... The minister, of music. minister of music. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, and if we just brush it off as if it's nothing, Be then good. that's the pinhole that, and that's all he needs. And I, is I the love pinhole. that. I love that because you, you talk about the pinhole. You talk about the pinhole. That's all he needs. You know, and the pinhole is the thing that will burst a balloon. Just a pinhole. Absolutely. You know, and I love that because, again, you're intentional about that pinhole. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's so important. I look at things, when we talk to each other, when you and I are, you know, off camera, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but we do talk yeah. off camera. <laughs> Quite a bit. <laughs> when, we, when we're off camera and we start talking, the Holy Spirit and, and the realms of where spirit lives is in a mm -hmm. higher vibration. Mm -hmm. And so if you think of higher vibration, everything starts to move up and everything starts to elevate. And if you think about it as a hot air balloon that you're riding on this Holy Spirit hot air balloon and he's taking you, God is mm -hmm. taking you to greater heights. And if you just submit yourself with prayer and protection and being able to receive, you'll feel the lightness. It is the way you feel when you're in church. And church could be and in your car, forward, in your home. Yeah. And mm -hmm. the word is speak, spoken over you. It's in the air. It is when you completely lose yourself where you don't care if your hair looks good, if you got your makeup <laughs> on right, if you got the right shoes on. And worship takes you yeah. in that and it just pulls you to that place. So then, you know, the opposition's always lurking mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. for those of us who are faithful. Yeah. Yeah. Because those of us who are not, 
he's already got he's them already so it's yeah. you know there's hope mm -hmm. still and always yeah. but for those of us who are walking on that straight and narrow he's got that he's got that pin mm -hmm. and all it takes is a pinhole to bring a balloon down yeah all yeah. it takes that's all it takes mm -hmm. yeah so we have to be so careful diligent and diligent yeah yes diligent i love that yeah diligent because he is right and i always say you know he's on his job we need to be on our job yes we need to be um and god tells us to put on the full armor of god yeah. he talks about all that and put on the lord jesus christ and even wear the garment of you know the the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness so he's given us all the the weapons right and we know that our the only weapon we fight with is the word of god so knowing the word and knowing how to rightly divide the word, mm -hmm. you know, because again, culture started because of one scripture. Absolutely. <laughs> that kind of thing, yes. you know. So I just think it's important that we know, that we know that we know. Mm -hmm. And then that we surround ourselves with people who know God. Yes. You know, and that we can feel comfortable sharing this. You know, because if, if I'm speaking something that is inaccurate, you know the word of God enough to say that oh, that's not right right yes but we have a relationship where you can say that's not right right yeah, and then let me show you a more excellent way right, right? you know and even mm -hmm. and even for the and i'm glad you said that too because there's there's so much to learn and for as young as we are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there there is there's so much there's so much more for us to learn and god knows the, the what we know he knows what he's poured mm -hmm. into us and he knows yeah. what we've chosen to read when we've chosen not to which is still okay it's mm -hmm. our choice mm -hmm. to if we've chosen to put on the full armor, if yeah. we've chosen, he's given us these things to equip us, but yeah. it's still our choice to be able to use them. Yes. The yes. other piece is that I don't know the Bible inside, outside, mm -hmm. and upside down. I don't. But I do know that I'm convicted mm -hmm. when I can feel yeah. something is not right. Mm -hmm. And if yeah. and yes, if we are having a conversation yeah. and one of us kind of goes outside of that, it, it is our conviction. It is that peace of the Holy Spirit inside of us that goes, ah, mm. something doesn't yeah. feel right. Yeah. Yeah. And then we know enough to go to the Word, yeah. look it up mm -hmm. to say, oh, you know what? Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for that conviction, Praise which becomes stronger. Mm -hmm. Each time you stop to pray over what, it, what feels like God that you want, that clarity, He continues to sharpen yeah. your senses even more. Because it is about putting your toe in the water and mm -hmm. saying, okay, is this, it is a safe space. I can yeah. walk out here to greet you, God. I can. You're asking me to Praise come to Lord. you. So, yeah, and even though I don't know scripture, you know, to, the, to, to be able to quote Psalms, <laughs> but I know enough. And that's why it's really important, even, the, even what we do listen to, even our praise and worship, mm -hmm. to listen and pay attention to those words. So yeah. it's not a routine because routines what starts to happen is it starts to get watered down yeah um, one of the things that's on my heart to share is those of you who are listening and watching if you're tuning in so that you can get the equation as to how to hear from God that's not going to be mm. what we speak about yeah. because it's specific to you as we said a little bit earlier mm -hmm. So if it's I'm tuning in because I, I finally am going to know, I'm finally going to get that, mm -hmm. you know, the, you that, know, that silver bullet yeah, on how to do yeah, yeah this yeah. is the thing I have to mm -hmm. do, and I have to do this every day, and I have to do this all the time. It needs to be in the morning at 5 o'clock, you know, and I have to be able to sit the right way and stand the right way. It's never been like that mm -hmm. for me. It is an all-day, all-night thing. It is all of the time. It is getting in the morning, getting up in the morning and saying, thank you, Lord, for another day. Thank you for a good night's sleep or not a good night's sleep. We know we have yes. not good night's sleep sometimes. <laughs> and even in those moments where he takes us to say, I need you to wake up mm. to read the word yeah, right now. Wake that. up and do it. If I need you to get up and write this down, Elizabeth, get up and write it down because mm. I need for you to remember something. I need for you to look up something in the yeah. and he knows that yep, okay, I'll go ahead and do it. Because there has been times where I have, I just want to sleep for five and more minutes. And it was minutes. snatched. Oh, It was gone. snatched. Yes. Because I, even I as test. easy as it seems to remember, oh, I'll remember mm -hmm. that. That's obvious. How can I forget yeah. that? Yeah. He will remove it yeah. from your mind. Mm -hmm. And so in getting up and writing it down. That's a must. It's a must. Mm -hmm. And he will give you rest. Yeah. 
Yeah. He will restore your energy oh, because that's Lord. part of a fear. Yeah. That comes over. I wake up, I won't be able to go back to sleep. And I have a big day tomorrow. Yes. I've got to drive all this way. I've got to, whatever that is. God, you don't know what you're doing. Right. <laughs> so while going oh. to sleep, it isn't about, uh, sometimes yeah. too, it's not even about asking him to restore. It's thanking him for doing it. Yeah. And being obedient. Because I, you I know it's that. done. And I love yeah. that you mentioned that because I think specifically with writers, you know, preachers, you know, teachers, singers, you know, when words have to come for us to kind of formulate what we're doing. Right. And he gives us that nudge in the middle of the night. That's for us to get up yes. and do it because it will be snatched. Like you said, I can remember that. This is so simple. I, many times that has happened to mm -hmm. me and I had to confess, Lord, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I should have gotten. I'm so sorry. Yes. I completely yes. forgot. Yes. <laughs> forgot and then one of the things you said because he deals with us differently and it's so funny with me it's the time you do it this time this time there was even a time in my life when I was going through a major fast and where I had to get up at a certain time and I had to wear a certain garment mm -hmm. and had to bathe or you know I had to do some mm -hmm. things that were regimented mm -hmm. for that specific time absolutely so there is a tailoring of things yes. right he does everything everything is not the same right because we're different yes he made us different our thumbprint is different amen right the the thing that we have in common is the word mm -hmm. we go to the word there's no mm -hmm. new revelation you know there is the word of god that we all have and we can read because the spirit of love the Lord is in us and he sends us teachers and sometimes if we don't have a teacher the Holy Spirit teaches us yes. right so we have that in common the other thing is how he speaks to us. Mm -hmm. It's different. Yeah. You know, and again, some people will hear Brenda, you know, <laughs> we hear the theophonic voice. Others hear that's, you know, that still small mm -hmm. voice, you know, because we have to hear the still small voice in the, in the chaos, Absolutely. in the earthquake, you know, we have to be able to do that. So I just love talking, mm -hmm. you know, I'd love to talk to you, yes. Elizabeth, because again, how he speaks to you, I think it's poetic the way he does for you. Thank I just think it's so beautiful, Thank you. you know, and be, and for you, it's beautiful as well. Yes. You know, the thing, he's yes. not, God is no respecter of persons. Yes. If it's beautiful for Elizabeth, it's beautiful for me. Absolutely. You know, it's beautiful for there's you. There's no hierarchy no, of. No, he loves us all. Same. He loves us all. And our experience is going to be different. Yes. But the same joy, right? And we have to not covet Right. What God is doing, you know, because I can look at you and say, oh, that is so, so beautiful. Right. You know, I would love, you know, but that's my, not what God gave me. Right. Right. So I have to love what he gives me. Yes. Right. And I'm so glad that you said thank you so much. Thank you, Lord, for giving that mm. to Brenda. I'm so glad that you shared that about during that fasting time. That's a, that's it's really important mm. to know and to understand and when you understand something you can stand under it yeah yeah so i love to, that to be able to <laughs> understand that, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. for brenda there is something she during that time period to put on the time to get up those are all pieces of the obedience puzzle for brenda mm -hmm. and for myself the ritual is non-ritual. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. However, he still will come yes. to me in the same in the same way, like yes. we said, because he yes. knows. So, the, there it, it's important. That's a really important piece because for those listening, even for myself, mm. fasting might not be that thing that resonates for you. It could be the thing that resonates to you in your spirit, mm. and you don't know how to get started. So, therefore, you might not think it's God. But it really is, and it really is about having the conversation, and that's another yeah. piece. You know, people, I'm sure, say to you, well, so how do you, what do you, how do you just talk to God? <laughs> you know, and I know one of your segments is going to be about prayer. Yeah. yeah. There's prayer time that I have, but there's conversation mm. as we are talking. Yes. And I so thank God for hands-free phones mm. because when I'm talking out loud, sometimes my car, I'm thinking the person next to me is going to think I'm talking about <laughs> the phone. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm talking about the phone. So it's okay. Yeah. All right, Lord, we're going to have a conversation yeah. now because... Mm -hmm. and, and it really is about getting out of your way. Yes. It really is about removing what 
your thought of expectation is, mm -hmm. your own thoughts is still part of your flesh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is about spirit to spirit yeah. and, and allowing yourself to just, we say to be still. Mm -hmm. We could be still while we're doing something. Yeah, and our spirits. Yeah. It could be mm -hmm. cleaning the house and knowing that's joy also yeah. the joy yeah. of cleaning the house and then saying okay lord i know today this is what i needed to do mm -hmm. but you have me doing something else how quickly he will come along and, and just as the wind and shift your day yeah. and yeah. if we allow ourselves to be upset about not getting the things on our lists done mm -hmm then we are not being obedient to where God wants to take us. And that's what we're asking for. Yes. We can get up in the morning and say, okay, Lord, I so thank you for today. Mm -hmm. You know, take me where you want me today. Show me what it is. It might be, I need you to rest on that couch. Yeah. And since you're not being obedient to me, here's a headache for you because I need you to be on that couch. <laughs> I need you down at all. That's, I need you yeah. down and out of the way. Or I need you late for an appointment, even though you're not mm. usually, because I want you to avoid something Traffic that's happening or, along yeah, the way. Yeah, so it's yeah. it's about really, and it doesn't mean you're late all the time. It doesn't yeah. mean you use it as it's an hearing, excuse. Hearing but, his voice. Yeah. but hearing his voice and stopping and saying, okay, there's something here. The air becomes different, mm. doesn't it? Yeah, it does. When you, when you can feel the Holy Spirit and hear God's mm. voice and feel that he's moving inside of you yeah the air changes the atmosphere it yeah. really does yeah and there's i remember just remember a, a service that we were a part of and there was deliverance going forth mm -hmm. and someone walked in and said Whew, what is going on in here you know because the atmosphere changed yes. there was there was a tangible thing going on you know yes. so it's god we, sh we shouldn't put him in a box if this is what he does. Yes. Right. You know, it's and true. again, we're all individuals, and he, he is a God of order, though. Yes. He is a God of order. So Thank when things are, things are disorderly, and, you know, those are, those are things that make us pause, right? Yes. Because he does deal decently and in order. Um, but within that, there's so many other yeah. things that he does. And I just love to be in the presence of people who are spirit led right who hear god mm. because it it's it's evident in your life because there's you know there's calmness and there's structure and all that kind of thing you know um so those are the people that i kind of uh, gravitate yes yeah. absolutely absolutely and again you elizabeth are one of those people who are intentional mm. about your walk you're intentional about the things you say mm. You know, because you're always, well, can I say this to you? <laughs> can I say, you know, and I appreciate that because they're, you know, sometimes people, especially of prophetic gifts and all those kind mm -hmm. of things, they will run you over. <laughs> they will run you over, you know, mm -hmm. but you're, you're just so um, intentional. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You know, and I appreciate that. And I just thought that was, again, something that we had to share. Mm -hmm. Because as we start this series of hearing from God and prayer, we have to see what that looks like. Yes. We have to see the face of it, right? Yes. And that's something that you, I think, you really Thank exhibit you. well. So I think our last thing, Elizabeth, is how can we know that we are in the place that God wants us to be? How can we know that we're truly hearing mm. from God? And I know that looks different, but for for yeah. for you, how do you know that God is truly speaking to you? Is what is what is that like for you? I, I'm going to go back for just a mm -hmm, second. Mm -hmm. um, you said the word order, and that resonated really loud for me mm -hmm. to be able to share. Yeah. So, if where you are in your life, in your moment. Take a moment to look around to what you see. Order is really an important mm -hmm. thing. And it doesn't always mean neatness, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it does mean, and it does mean something different for everybody. Yeah. Um, when That's I was transitioning cool. from working in corporate to leaving that to open that the store, mm -hmm. my office, our office at home was in disarray, I brought this in from the, you know, that, you know, boxes and just, mm -hmm. I mean, it wasn't awfully messy, 
but there was enough run. My desk wasn't neat enough mm -hmm. that I had some papers it's here and some like papers that. there, and mm -hmm. I was able to put my laptop and all. But and and I wanted to write. That was what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And all I kept hearing was, "You have to. What's wrong? You're off. Get in your office. All right, I'm in my office. What?" Well, you have to clean out your closet. I have to clean out my closet. I don't have time to clean out my right. But those are the times, truly. Eve, God will give you the grain of sand to take care of. Mm -hmm. And that's because he wants to test us with the, if you're able to take care of that, be obedient to that. Now yeah. here's the next yes. thing. Okay, now you took care of that. Great, now I'm going to give you the next mm -hmm. thing. He starts to teach us. We have yeah. to learn to crawl before we walk yes. and before we run. So even with that, so order, it is the order in which we see things around us mm -hmm. it will settle the dust and everything in our head and our spirit so that we're able to go ahead and now go forward so that we're not continually going i'm supposed to be doing this and that's the visual things mm -hmm. the order in which he gives us things first i want you to read this book then i want you to learn this it's not always about that it might be i want you to give brenda a call because you need to she start doing yeah, <laughs> the radio platform. Yeah, okay, yeah, but I don't, yeah. I have never, what do I, how do I, nope, I need to make the phone call first. Okay, can I send an email? Yes, send an email, have that conversation. Yeah, yeah. You've never done this before. How do I send it? What do I use for? He has all the pieces. He has all the pieces. And it, and it doesn't matter if you've never done it. God has done it. Yes. He's yes. just going to provide the person and the things for you to, it makes no sense to us, but it makes perfect sense to God. So therefore, all of the things start to become more aligned. Yeah. So that's, that's one of the, the things. And I lost the question. How the, do you know? How do I know? Yeah. So how I know is when I have peace. peace. And the peace can be an excitement. The peace can be in joy. The peace could have ruffled edges to it to show me that I'm growing mm -hmm. in it. But if I'm not supposed to be someplace where I have gone against what I've felt I should be doing in my spirit, I've gone against it and have been there, I'm like, I've got to go. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't be here now. Mm -hmm. You're not comfortable. It is. It goes against yeah. everything you're feeling, and it is. And when you learn what that feels like, that quickens your steps mm -hmm. to leave, yeah. to stop doing what you're doing. It's happened with jobs that uh -huh. I've been in, uh -huh. where it's okay, Lord. So can you give me that window? If if this is not where I'm supposed uh -huh. to be, can so. you please provide the next step for me? Show me what it is. Reveal it to me in such a way that I'll know it's yes. you. Yeah. Protect me in those steps uh -huh. that I'm going to be Praise taking. And please don't let it disintegrate or affect uh -huh. where I've been. Leave the place uh -huh. where I am with the peace that is you, yeah. Lord, and yeah. to protect the people that I'm where I'm leaving, too. And it sounds uh -huh. really simple, like I'm just leaving another job, but those people where you just were are people yeah. that are vessels that mm -hmm. God has placed in your life yes. to care for to care uh -huh. for and we're not always surrounded by Christians we're not yes. always surrounded by believers we are supposed to be his the hands light. and yes. feet we're and supposed to be yes. in there helping yes. to teach so if we're in that place where we are not comfortable because we feel like it's coming against us or we're going to go with that flow stop and pray right where you are how many times we've Right in the bathroom of a place where we yeah. work. I mean, it doesn't Lord matter. help us. Does it, yes. Yeah, just go into mm -hmm. that place of solitude or right where you're sitting. Give yourself a moment. Yeah. Pray with inside of yourself and watch. The air really mm -hmm. will change. Yeah. So it is about it is about feeling peace. Yeah. And warriors go into war. Mm -hmm. They, go, you know, we go into battle and yeah. we do have full armor on and I was taught a long time ago that one of the reasons when you think of armor do you think of the armor having a back to it or just the front mm -hmm. because warriors go forward yeah and a lot of times that's why the back we don't have full armor into the back is because we go forward mm -hmm. unless the and armor that's that. in there. Yes, yes unless yes. the vision you have of armor is behind you as well mm -hmm. then you know it's coming yeah. from all sides yeah. I love that the and you you talked you talked about that um 
speaking peace in your day and putting peace on your list. Putting peace on your list. Yes, and I just thought that was so wonderful. Yeah. You know, so again, we're, we're saying basically, he mm -hmm. speaks to all of us differently. Yes. Right? But there are some key things that he does. You know, he will not go against his word. Right. He is the same So the same yesterday, today, today and forever. Right. If there's something that's going against his word, you know that's not God. Yes. You know, there's some things that we know. <laughs> not God. Right. So there, even mm -hmm. in our differences, mm -hmm. there are basic similarities. principles. Yes, absolutely. Right. Basic principles. And the way to know God is to spend time in his word. Yes. You know. I know you by spending time with you, right? So we know God by spending time in his word first. And then, you know, we're going through the prayer segment. That prayer is the conversation you yes. talked about. And we know that it's a conversation. So the rules are, I speak, you speak, <laughs> right? So if I just speak and leave, then that's rude. Exactly. <laughs> right? It is rude. It's rude. Yes. So we give. We have to give God the time to answer yes. us. Back. And as he says, did you just ask me a question? Yeah. Then you just kind of took off. Tell you. He just kind of took off. So there, there is just. I I love this because this conversation can go on forever. Yes. Because he he deals with us differently, but the common ground is his word, right? right? And then through the precious Holy Spirit, that as mm. we accept Christ as Savior, we all have then he what? He will lead us yes. <laughs> to all truth. So I love you, Elizabeth. And again, I just think it's really cool how God speaks to you and how you just walk throughout the, the earth. You know, you have this this glow, mm -hmm. you know, and this expectation, I think. <laughs> just, you know, that's just really beautiful. And for me, I, I love to see it. So I, I thank you for consenting to come back. I thank you for speaking those things you hear into yeah. my life, you know. And I thank God that I am open enough, mm. you know, to, to receive that goodness that comes my way, you know. You so, are. You are. You're amazing, too. Because you can have an agenda because of do. all the things that you <laughs> do. do. You're a very, you're a, a orderly busy person. Mm, and it's wonderful. Uh, one of the things that I'm led to share also mm -hmm. is the word interpretation. Truly try hard not to interpret what you think God mm -hmm. is saying to you, yeah. like the peace for seasons, mm -hmm. trust on yeah. the water. Yeah. It is, why do you want me to drown, God? I didn't ask you to drown. <laughs> I asked you to walk on walk the water on the towards water. me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's about interpretation. Try, try not to interpret what you think he's saying mm -hmm. to you hear what he's, saying, what he's saying and ask him to be clear because he is and, and if you want him to be clear ask him to be clear i love that ask yeah he said ask that's absolutely. you know you ask for a fish he's not going to give you a stone right. you know we we <laughs> think sometimes that god is just against us you know oh. because of my expectation he's not meeting my expectation he says our expectation should be from him you know, so we have to really get to know God through his word and just spending some time and asking the question, mm -hmm. God, is this you? What does this mean? Can you, you know, just spend time right. and the asking. If we have bad reception on our phone <laughs> and we've lost a signal, we say, I can't hear you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Please be clear. Please be clear. You know, clear. ask him Shiny. and he will. Mm -hmm. He will. He will. He promised that he will. Yes. He wants us to hear yes. him. Yes. He, he is he is God. He wants period. that. <laughs> he is God. So he does. He wants I to speak that. to us. He wants to have a relationship. He thirsts mm. he, he, we thirst for him. When you start doing yeah. this, and sitting with him and resting in it's him. It's nothing like it. You want to continue to do it. Yeah. You might be listening thinking, I don't know when I'm supposed to fit this into my time. That's a choice. Yeah. That's why he gives each of us the same hours. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I used to think that as well. Oh, so people pray. You know, they pray for two hours in the morning. <laughs> and then they go to church. How can and I do that? Just, yeah. How am I going to put that in? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a choice. And once you start doing it and you you start feeling that you want to, to spend mm. more time. Yes, yes. It's delicious. I love it. <laughs> that's it a perfect so word. Delicious. <laughs> a perfect <laughs> word. Oh, but that's our time. Okay. Again, we could talk forever oh, yes. about this. But I just wanted to mm. just start the series off 
again with Elizabeth Verner from Perfect Misfits. She airs on Tuesday afternoon at noon, perfect, perfect midday uh, message. And um, she hears from God. Mm -hmm. She hears from God. So we just thought we'd have to have you back a little Thank bit you. to start our series off. Hearing from God, what that looks like, talking about prayer and all of this. Because, again, these are times where people are just asking the questions. Yes. And it's getting more confusing because of the end Absolutely. time. So we, we're just trying to provide some clarity. Mm -hmm. Put some faces on what that looks like. <laughs> you know. And, again, we, we love you here at Heart Ministry Radio Network and we thank you for the work that you're doing and just how you are allowing the Lord to shine. Praise the Lord. And do his work. Amen. 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 So we you. can reach you. Right? You have a new website. I do. I have a new web website, perfect-misfits.com. Um, and my contact information is on there also. My email address is perfectmisfits.de at gmail.com as well and all of that is on the website yeah. so and I thank you for you Brenda and for the the obedience to have this platform and to be able to bring his word to the masses in and just reaching as many people as God wants to be there yeah. and just continue to listen and to con and I so pray for all of you that you're able to hear with the ears that God has given you on the inside yeah and you know, with your heart. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's our time perfectly stated, perfectly said. Again, I'm Brenda Divers, co-founder of Heart Ministry Radio Network. Please visit us often at heartministryradio.com. I'm telling you, if you're not listening, you're missing all of this good stuff. <laughs> it's just so good, so good. But again, we thank you for, for tuning in today. We look forward to seeing you again. God bless you all.